Bone Shatter Juggernaut, an unstoppable force of skull crushing rage combined with an immovable hunk of steel. Tank and obliterate everything within your reach. Quickly jump from pack to pack using Leap Slam. Obliterate your foes with the built in explosion effect, scaling with stun duration. This build is great for people who want a tanky map blaster, but it's not a good choice if you're looking to farm a bunch of bosses or for those looking to complete uber bosses on a budget, although you'll have no issues with these bosses once you've geared up. This build is cheap, has great mapping, crappy early bossing, but exceptional defenses once you're geared up to the fourth bow setup. We use Bone Shatter as our main clear and damage ability. It's a melee strike skill that stacks trauma up with every single attack, and it has a built-in explosion that scales off of the remaining stun duration on enemies. We'll buff our Bone Shatter up with Ancestral Totem's Rage Generation from a self-triggered cast when damage taken setup linked to Warlord's Mark, a Rage Dump through Berserker providing temporary godhood, and Blood Rage, auras like Pride, War Banner, and precise technique while having enough accuracy to exceed our total life. We are Juggernaut now instead of Slayer because Juggernaut has better scaling options past the first 30 divines into the build. Because of this, I have a league start guide out on max roll with Tai Tai Killer leveling, full step by step progression, and a nice hand holding POB to follow up. I also have an upgrade guide for a mid game version of the build which is going to upgrade past the League Start version on Max Roll and past this League Start POB here. The POB will be down in the description and the Max Roll article for both the League Start and mid game will be in the description as well. The first thing Juggernaut provides is free accuracy and attack speed scaling from Undeniable, letting us ramp our trauma stacks even faster and harder. The fortitude to never be slowed, stopped, stunned, or otherwise hindered by your enemies through unstoppable, an untiring and stoic connection from mind to body, allowing you to regenerate life based off the physical damage you've prevented from your trauma stacks. And lastly, a way to take all that physical prowess and become unbreakable even by the elements by allowing 8% of your armor to apply to fire, cold, and lightning damage. All of this coming together gives us a slightly slower and less damage league start compared to Slayer, but offers much better scaling options and much, much better defenses against the very endgame of Path of Exile, including uber bosses. We are leveling this build using Splitting Steel into Helix until around Act 3 or 4, where you'll swap into Bone Shatter after your lab and start your skull crushing journey. From there, you'll follow the leveling tree outlines, complete a few Axe Vendor recipes, pick up Tanu Ahi, or it's free adrenaline and onslaught since you'll always be damaging and leeching your way back to full because of bone shatter self damage and ride that free wave into maps. Bone shatter trauma is a stacking debuff that gives more damage per trauma stack while also causing you to take increasing amounts of damage per trauma stack. Early on your gear won't let you ramp to high heaven but once you obtain a few key crafts like the gravitious body armor and the Corel Helmet plus Eldritch Implicits, and a few key mods like Physical Damage Reduction and more armor, you'll finally be able to let loose and let that trauma take the wheel. Your mapping involves simply Leap Slamming, Bone Shattering, and pressing Blood Rage at the start of your maps with the occasional Berserk Press, making sure to save some Rage for Tanky Rares or the Map Boss so you can put down your Ancestral Totems and Pop Berserk to shred it down. To further increase the build's ramp and damage, you'll want to follow the mid-game article, not to be confused with the mid-game gear set of the League Start, but the mid-game article for Bone Shatter Juggernaut. You'll obtain Ashes of the Star and Divergent Bone Shatter, causing your trauma to also now give attack speed, allowing you to ramp even harder. The last gear set of the League Start version will scale its defenses harder through getting 100,000 armor, Divine Flesh, and Fourth Vow. This combination makes Jug an absolute beef tank by allowing our unbreakable 8% of armor applying to elemental damage to work more than twice as well since we're taking half of all Ellie damage as chaos instead, which we mitigate with our massive armor thanks to 4th Bow. Your early game gearing is very simple. 
The first thing to take care of is flasks. You'll want a jade, granite, quartz, and quicksilver. And on these four flasks, you'll want to obtain reduced effective curses, attack speed, armor, and evasion rating. This is easily accomplished with alterations through vendoring some ID'd gear in white maps. The second thing to focus on early on is obtaining the veiled modifier from Corel on the helmet, Gravitius on the body armor, and Elrion jewelry for the minus mana cost. For your weapon, simply obtain as much physical damage on a non-chopper base as possible. The best base being Despot for its high attack rate and semi-high physical damage. A few contempt essences and a craft is good enough for now. Your helmet is just resistance and the Corel fizz taken as firecraft. Your body armor is physical damage reduction and the Gravitius fizz taken as fire and lightning craft with your amulet, rings, and belt solving your accuracy, resistance, and stat needs. Make sure to obtain Tanuahi in your gloves for the free adrenaline and onslaught if you didn't get it while leveling. For the red map gearing, you're going to mainly squeeze as many high tier mods out of your gear as possible and obtain Eldritch Implicits to further boost your mitigation. You'll also need suppression on two slots to cap out your suppression chance or get it close enough to it. Your weapon can be crafted following the crafting guide in the article, but to put simply, you'll just be buying a fractured base, spamming a contempt essence until you land a high tier attack speed or physical damage, and finishing it with a craft. The important step here is that you'll be getting Elrion minus mana craft on two jewelry slots so you can drop the mana reservation nodes and still have enough mana to attack and be comfortable while mapping. For the end game gear, this is where the build really starts to be fun. You'll have to craft most of these slots unless you want to pay out the ass. I've got all the crafting on the max roll article if you need it, but it's the same general formula of fractured base, essence spam until good mod, add life with eldritch currency or veiled chaos for rings, and finishing with a prefix craft. For this gearing though, the needs are fairly strict, so you'll need good fractures, essences, and rolls that the chaos resistance needs a fourth vow and divine flesh, your stat needs without specking into them on the tree, and their, your resistance needs. On your boots, you'll use a Shrieking Torment to obtain 100 Shock Avoidance alongside the Implicits and your Passive Tree, which allows you to use Storm Shroud for very easy ailment immunity. You'll get a Natural Affinity Jewel and put it in the Cluster Slot below Marauder, which allows you to take less damage and have more double damage chance while you're standing still and stacking up these vines, which do absolutely nothing because, remember, you are unstoppable. Lastly, you can get a Watcher's Eye with extra physical damage reduction or impale lasting additional hits to scale your damage even harder. That's it for the build guide. If you need extra help, make sure you check out the Maxwell article. It'll hold your hand through the TIE TIE Killer leveling and the step-by-step -step gear progression, crafting instructions, etc. But let me know if you like this new build guide format. We're trying out something a little different here. And please hit the sub button. So when I show cute girls, I'm a YouTuber, they'll see a bigger number. Man, please. Guys, I'm, I'm bad, okay? If this doesn't work, I'm f please, okay? 40k, that's the goal. Please help me out. Homie to homie. Okay, I need you. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next guide. Peace out.